A hundred dollar XRP is still cheap. Oh, happy days. <laughs> hey, what's going on? I'm Jeff Moore, published author, professional trader for 16 years, and this is The Ripple Effect. Hey, welcome back to the show. Before I get into it, do me a favor. If you like these reaction videos, especially about crypto, hey, give me a thumbs up on this video. It doesn't cost you anything. And I promise you, it really does help support the channel. Keeps me fired up also, right? So if you like re reaction videos, hey, help me out. Give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. A $100 XRP is still cheap. Oh my God, man, I can't wait to get in this because if a hundred dollars is still cheap, what the hell is 52 cents, right? I think that that's where we're at yesterday. I mean, that must be rock fucking bottom, dirt fucking cheap. Oh my God, what the heck? I can't wait to get into this bad boy. So let's waste no time Jump in the video. All right, the title of this video is XRP failed the test to handle $1 trillion at $30. The price must be high. Only a few will understand. Only the chosen few will understand that $30 XRP is a drop in the bucket. <laughs> Let's get into this video. After you're done watching this video, you are going to see how the price of XRP is going to hit triple digit. I'm going to <laughs> show you how it's going to reach. Yes. After this video, we're going to see how XRP hit triple digits. The price is 51 cents at the time of watching this, but triple digits, baby, here we come. Yes. My XRP friends, we got it. We got it. It's fucking party time. Reach $30. But you will understand what's actually going to happen and how these transactions are going to occur and how many use cases that we are going to leave out from this calculation. You are going to be completely mind blown. Uh, some of you guys are already very intelligent and you guys are going to grasp on this right away. We're going to be completely channel, mind blown. There is a lot more <laughs> information. I've heard that shit this, every day for six fucking years. Video of mine the because we do in-depth research like no other. Yesterday, I tweeted out in regards to the discouragement within the XRP community. And I said, you guys are going to look and feel really stupid when XRP hits $10, $20, $30 and makes it win. You guys are going to feel and look so stupid when XRP hits $10, $20, and makes its way towards $100. That's his tweet, okay? And he says, I have the receipts. I have screenshots. Don't try to say I told you so when XRP hits double and triple digits. Okay, so first of all, let's make sure we get out of the 50 cent range first. Do I think XRP can hit 10, 20, 30? Eventually, yes. $100? Well, eventually. But, but I'm not sure what time frame this dude's talking about, but he seems pretty damn confident that we're going to go to the fucking moon. So let's keep watching. So the OTC, this was released April 2022, and I have yet to see an updated one, but the numbers will be much higher. This is the April 2022. And First of all, that was two years ago. 7.5. Two years ago, this little article or this document. Okay, so, so you're telling me this bitch was issued two years ago, and we're going to the fucking moon, and we're now 2024, and we're in 50 cents? So I don't give a fuck what this article says. This bitch was two years ago. Does it say five years after this article? What the fuck, man? I mean, everybody keeps showing all this shit about these clips, right? But these clips are like four fucking years ago, three years ago. Come on, show a clip recent or an article recent that says this stupid shit. On Fox News, they're pretty, pretty much talking about the characteristics of XRP without pretty much mentioning it. Uh whoa, whoa. They're pretty much talking about the characteristics of XRP. 
but without mentioning it. So they're going to talk about crypto, I'm assuming, but somehow they're secretly talking about XRP. But guys, they don't even mention it. What the fuck, dude? They're secretly talking about XRP, but they don't mention it. What the fuck? Uh, and I'd like to use the example, if uh, the Bank of Mitsubishi in Toko, Tokyo needs to transfer $100 million worth of yen to the New York branch and convert it to dollars, you need $100 million worth of yen in Tokyo and $100 million worth of dollars in New York. You're tying up $200 million in capital. If you can attach that to a coin, it's simultaneously so the bank frees up half the capital. I guess they're secretly talking about XRP. This fool probably doesn't even know what the fuck XRP is. If they were secretly talking about XRP or talking about XRP, don't you think right there where it says crypto plays, they might put XRP? I'm just fucking saying. That's a big deal, but we haven't made that jump yet. There's going to be a huge demand coming for XRP, but there's a problem. There's only a fixed supply. Of Huge XRP. demand coming, guys. And it's that all is over now. Important. So listen. Bring your fucking popcorn. Here. There is relatively speaking, leaving forks aside. There's relatively speaking fixed supply, and you have increasing demand. First of all, when was this fucking clip taken? Right? Is this, is this, a, is this another video that was taken like three years ago? The fuck? And. And when endowments and institutions, you know, Joey and I sat in a meeting not that long ago with, you know, some of the, the, the largest institutional money in the world trying to get smart about crypto. They owned zero on that day. I don't know if they do today, but as they enter the market, you have fixed supply, increasing demand. You don't have to go to MIT to know what's going to happen. And before we get into the calculation. Yeah. MIT makes me think of Gary Ginsler. Hate that motherfucker. Okay. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, who does Gary Ginsler look like to you? I know who that motherfucker looks like to me, but let me know in the comments below, who does Gary Ginsler look like? Oh, God, I can't wait to see what you guys say. All right, now let's get right into it. So I've showed you guys this in the past. What they're trying to achieve is have a level playing field across the globe, connect all the countries together. So the final end game looks like this. Go ahead and smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. It's only going to get better. That's the final end game, baby. It's only going to get better. So here are and some wait use for cases for XRP. Get better. Cross-border payments. Uh oh, payment here we go. Use cases of XRP. Microtransactions, smart contracts, tokenization, CBDCs, stocks and bonds, debt, retail, foreign exchange. First of all, we know XRP, that token is the shit. Okay, that motherfucker's fast, lightning, we get it, right? Use cases, cross-border, banking, remittance, micro, foreign exchange, retail, we get it. XRP is the shit. But uh, as of the last time I looked at that motherfucking price, it was still 52 cents. So I really don't care how much of the shit XRP is, what its fucking use cases are, what we want is that motherfucker to go to the moon like everybody's saying all this shit's great but none of this shit pays my bills it doesn't pay your bill Ugh. let me know in the comments if you're sick of this shit come on let me know i know you are so here we have a hundred million dollars and it's going to utilize a hundred million xrp to do this transaction and that is 0.14% of the total circulating supply. Okay, so let's scale it a little bit. So XRP is $1. Uh, now we have scaled it to $700 million. And this would use up 1% of the circulating supply. This sounds pretty reasonable, but we're only talking about $700 million. It's not even a billion. I mean, I could have done other currencies, foreign exchange, stock settlements there's this is what i this is for you to see the bigger picture and i'm just helping you i'm guiding you are you guys seeing the this bigger picture right? it's for us to see the bigger the picture supply, which is seventy thousand. small one okay let's scale it what a little bit again fuck? one dollar xrp 2.2 billion dollars being moved we're looking at about a 2.2 billion xrp being utilized which is 2.9 percent of the circulating supply and $2.2 billion is nothing. 
Okay, so now this is the big oh. scenario. Oh, shit. And these numbers will be reached 100% because it logically... These numbers will be reached. <laughs> he said 100%, right? He went, he went into the future, right? He was like Marty on that back to the future, right? In this case, he went into the future. He saw that this is going to happen. <laughs> Look at Marty McFly. Really makes sense. And I'm leaving out so many other use cases. So many other use cases. Different yeah. values pouring in and XRP being utilized. But we're going to have a scale because $100 billion is nothing. Let's go to $500 billion. Add a dollar per XRP. I mean, it's negative four. Okay, so maybe I'm stupid. <laughs> or maybe, like I always say, maybe I'm smoking crack, but what the fuck is he talking about? Again, maybe I'm done. Maybe you can let me know in the comments what the hell he's talking about. I mean, I really don't have a clue. All I know is the title says XRP failed the test to handle $1 trillion at 30 bucks. I mean, what the fuck is this? Man, I guess I'm stupid. Or maybe he's going to explain it to me more. 400%, whatever you want to call it, because there isn't 500 billion XRP out there. Now let's go to a $30 per XRP. Do you see how, like, this is peanuts and you... And you're probably wondering, like, why hasn't this happened yet? Because. Yeah. <laughs> he said you're probably wondering why hasn't this happened yet. He, yes, you got our attention. We are wondering why this hasn't happened yet. But I think he's about to tell us why. They all want to start at the same time. They have an agenda. That's it. Ripple is the only. That's company. it. They all want to start at the same time. I mean, it's all, that's it, guys. Problem solved. They have an agenda. So we're not rich yet because they're waiting because they have an agenda. They want to start it all. Like my video yesterday, flip the switch. They're just waiting to flip the switch. Out there with these massive, massive partnerships, there is nobody else close to Ripple. Like, what don't people understand about no, no. that? Ripple's the I shit, dude. We get it. Dozens. Ripple's the dozens. shit. I hold about maybe 15 to 18 assets myself. I'm not an XRP maxi, but XRP is... I'm not an XRP maxi also. I'm a crypto maxi, right? I love XRP. It's fast, but at the end of the day, I want to make money, right? So I'm not an XRP maxi. I'm not a Bitcoin maxi. Again, XRP is my top coin, but I have a fucking whole bunch of coins. I don't give a shit. I just want this motherfucker to go to the moon so I can cash out and then relax, man. I know that's what you want. Let me know down below what the fuck you are going to do when this bitch finally does go to the moon. <laughs> Come, I'm just curious, man. I want to buy a fucking airplane. I know going to be one of the best performing assets. Let's continue on or I'll keep ranting. Let's scale it up. Don't keep ranting. To one trillion dollars. Oh shit! Here we go. I mean, XRP at a dollar—it's impossible. And when we do a thirty-dollar price for XRP, thirty-three billion XRP would be utilized uh, when we're having a daily volume of one trillion dollars, which would be forty-eight percent of the circulating supply. Ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. <laughs> That's it. That's it? What the fuck? XRP, the title says XRP failed the test to handle $1 trillion at 30 bucks. The price must be high. Look, I'm not, it doesn't take a genius to know that if all that money flows through XRP, it does have to be high, but what the fuck? What test did it fail? I don't get it. <laughs> maybe, again, maybe I'm on crack. Let me know if you guys got it and you can explain that shit to me, but that video did nothing for me. <laughs> and do me a favor. If you are just sick of this nonsense, man, all this hype with nothing concrete that does anything for you and me, hey, give me a thumbs up. Support this video. Support the ripple effect. Number one, I'd appreciate it. It means a lot. But it spreads this bitch out there to other people so they can help us in this fight cut through the bullshit. I see your comments in these videos. 
So I know you guys are fucking pissed off. Also, hey, let me know down in the comments again, who does Gary Gensler look like to you, right? Love that shit. <clears throat> if you're into trading the financial markets, really quick, I day trade live on this channel every day. And I have a lot of videos on how to trade the markets in the description. So check it out. I got some badass playlists. If you want to make money trading, yeah, I've been doing that shit a long time. Check it out. All right, XRP, $100. XRP is still cheap. Okay, so what the fuck in that video said anything about that? $100 is still cheap? Bitch, it's 50-something cents at the last time. Then that must mean it is dirt fucking dirt fucking 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 cheap. Come on, the test proved XRP won't work. <laughs> what fucking test? Oh my God, I'm on crack, but I'm on crack. Hey, thanks for joining me in the Ripple Effect, everybody. If you like that video, do me a favor, watch this one right here. I promise you, you're going to love that shit, all right? Right there. All right, see you next time. Peace.